Hey everyone, Irix guy here. I uh, just wanted to take the time to show everyone how to set the uh, the time and date on an automatic watch, also commonly referred to as a self-winding watch. This right here, uh, it has quite a few complications on it. It's got a uh, a uh, chronograph complication. As you can see, all these dials there. There's your there's your second hand. There's your date and of course your time. So what we're going to be concerned with today is the date and time. So today is the uh, is the 16th and in my time zone it's about 4.50 p.m. So the first thing you want to do and always make sure that your time that's on there which now it's at 5 o'clock which is fine but if it's within an, if if it's within two or three hours of twelve o'clock, you need to first adjust your time before you do the date. Now the reason being, there's a where you see the date over there. It says twenty one right now. There's something called a date wheel inside this watch, and if you try to change the date when the time is is uh, close to twelve o'clock or within a few hours, you risk damaging the date wheel, uh, which means you would have to send it in for repair, which can be quite costly. So. First thing I did, I unscrewed the crown. Uh, when you first unscrew it and pull it out, you will uh, you will feel when you turn it forward, you you can see the dates changing now. Now, if I just barely pulled it out, on most watches, the first step that you pull out to is where you can wind it. The next step, and you'll feel these clicks when you're doing it, but the next step is where you can do the date. So we can change this. Now the thing to do since today I'm going to set it for the 16th so on the date I'm going to take it all the way to the 15th. Okay so now I'm on the 15th. Now I want to pull the crown out the next notch. You can see it clicked again. Uh, this will enable me to change the time. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep going forward until I pass midnight and we're going to see this 15 turn into a 16. Okay, so now it's 16, so that's midnight. Now what we want to do, since it's in the afternoon, we're going to need to pass 12 again so we're going to go all the way around here. Okay, see so now, now we're at 12 o'clock again and you can see the 16th still there. So now we're moving into afternoon time. So we're going to, we're at 1 o'clock. 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, and I'm going to get the exact time, and it is 4.58, I'm sorry, 4.54. Now actually I'm not dead on because you can see my second hand over there. I'm a little bit early so anyway that's close enough for me. You push your crown back in and you'll notice your second hand start to sweep again. On this particular model this has a Vigeau movement. Vigeau 7750. So you can see the uh, the second hand over there on the on the left side. So now you want to make sure that your crown's completely pushed in, which it is. Most watches have a screw down crown, not all, but a lot of them do, especially dive watches. So you always want to make sure you screw that back in very tightly. And this is particularly important for dive watches because if you get out 
if you get out in the water, like if I got in the water with this now, you can see I got the gap, so I haven't screwed it down, it would leak. And then you'd have to, uh, you'd have to send your watch in for, uh, for service, which is not fun. So that, that concludes how to adjust the date and time on an automatic watch. This will work for most all automatics. Um, uh, Rolex, Breitling, Omega, <coughs> Patek Philippe, you name it, it'll work. So it's a cool video, and then I'll just show you here. This is kind of neat. It's talking about the complication. So I push that top button, and now you can see my, uh, my chronograph going around. And then to stop that, I just simply push that again and then I push the bottom one to reset it but that has nothing to do with adjusting the date or the time I just thought I'd put that in there uh, feel free to subscribe uh, YouTube channel is youtube.com forward slash irix guy and I've got quite a few other uh, watch videos on my channel too feel free to share this video and y'all have a good day